Hey guys, welcome back. Houston Math Prep here. In this video, we're going to look at polynomial long division. So we're going to start with a quick review of numerical long division, or how do we use long division to divide numbers? So we're going to take the example, how many times does 5 go into 965? So to work that problem, we know we would take our little division house bar there, we would take 965 and place that underneath, and then whatever we're dividing by, or our divisor, would go on the outside. So then we ask, how many times does 5 go into 9 evenly? So 5 can go into 9 evenly one time. So we'll write 1 above, and then we'll multiply 1 times 5. Place that underneath and subtract. 9 minus 5 gives 4. Once we do that, we're going to next bring down the next digit. So I'll bring down the 6, and then I repeat the process. So how many times does 5 go evenly into 46? Well, it goes evenly in 9 times because 9 times 5 makes 45. Once again, subtracting here, 46 minus 45 makes 1, and then repeat, bring down the next term, so bring down the 5. Repeat again, how many times does 5 go evenly into 15? Goes in evenly 3 times, and 3 times 5 makes 15. Subtracting here, 15 minus 15 is 0, so that means we can write 965 as 5 times 193. Or we can say that 5 goes into 965 193 times. Now that's numerical long division, but polynomial long division follows a very, very similar pattern. So let's take that same idea and answer the question, how many times does x minus 3 go into x squared minus 4x plus 3? So giving us a bit of space but setting up a very similar look, I'm going to take x squared minus 4x plus 3, place that under our little division bar, and then take our divisor, x minus 3, and place it outside. So here I'm going to do much the same thing, but I'm going to ask the questions just a little bit differently. I'm going to focus my attention on the lead term of my divisor. So I'm going to say x times what would look like x squared? Well, x times x would look like x squared. Now we do what we would do before, take x and multiply it by x minus 3 x times x makes x squared, and x times minus 3 makes minus 3x. Now we want to subtract that entire polynomial there. So x squared minus x squared, that zeroes out, and negative 4x minus negative 3x is positive I'm sorry, negative x. So negative 4 minus negative 3 is like negative 4 plus 3, which is negative 1. Just like before, we want to bring down the next term. So I'm going to bring down that plus 3 and then repeat the process. x times what makes negative x? Well, that would be x times negative 1. So we write negative 1 up above and then distribute it to our x minus 3. Negative 1 times x would make negative x, and negative 1 times negative 3 would make positive 3. Once again, we want to subtract that whole entire polynomial. So negative x minus negative x is like negative x plus x, which zeroes out. And 3 minus 3 makes 0. So again, we got a 0 remainder, which means it does go in evenly. 
So x squared minus 4x plus 3 can be written as x minus 3 times what we got up here, x minus 1. So that is how polynomial long division works. Very, very similar to numerical long division. Catch us in future videos to see more examples of this, but for now, we'll see you later.